Hi, I'm Mike. Well, today turned to crap on me. We got rained out at Farmer's Market this morning. I can't bale the hay that I have down because it's wet. And now what I had planned for today was, well, it's kind of down the tubes. Luckily, we can't let that ruin our day as we adapt and overcome on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Welcome back to our Wyoming life. I'm cold and wet, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Yesterday, when planning today's episode of our Wyoming life, I had a whole different idea. I won't bore you with the details, mostly because I can actually reuse the idea somewhere down the road. But it did, did depend on nice weather. And thanks to more rain today, that's not gonna happen. I also hope to finish bailing this field behind me, where hay is windrowed and ready to go, but that's not gonna happen either. Can't bale wet hay for fear of mold, which can be really detrimental to a cow and her calf. You know what would be nice? What would be nice is to go back in, sit down with a nice tall glass of milk, some of Aaron's carrot cake that's left because we got rained out and get, didn't get a chance to sell it, and maybe read a book, but that's not gonna happen either. Weather is one thing on the ranch that we have no control over. Would I rather have had all this rain back in April or May when it actually would have made a difference in our hay crop? Heck yeah, I would have, but that didn't happen. And reality, any rain is good rain. Normally this time of year, we'd be deep into our fire season. Pastures all over the county would be burning up. Flames shooting in the air as volunteer firefighters fought to save grazing and hay ground. They get a little bit of a break this year. But for us, even with the rain, there's still plenty to be done. But listen, it's the weekend, Aaron's birthday, and maybe it's a sign to slow down a little bit and enjoy the little things. And when it comes to the little things around here, that means the three little ones that live here. Hi, I'm Mackenzie and I am seven years old. Hi, I'm Christian, I'm five years old. And Lincoln, who is three. It's time for him to take a nap. And with Aaron's birthday on Sunday, it's time to head out with Mackenzie and Grace to go to the store and search for a birthday present for mom. So I'm getting mommy a vase because her old one broke because Cheddar knocked it over. Definitely Cheddar. Do you know what you're gonna get mommy for her birthday? Uh, yeah. You're gonna figure out something when you're inside? Maybe. What I always do. Around. You're gonna look around? Okay. What I always do is look around and find something that mom, anybody would like if I'm not sure. MJ, you almost pushed me. Sorry. Is it raining? I have a theory. Anytime kids outnumber adults, the chances for trouble multiply by five. But hey, I handle hundreds of cows at once. This can't be that hard. So full of confidence, we head into the store. Okay. Cards come first, and already I'm wondering if I might be a little bit overconfident. But the kids, as they get older, they're easier to deal with by myself. For a special mom, to wish your happy birthday, and then you tell you to have very much is always made to have a mom like you. I kind of, I think mommy would like this one. Then it's on to find Mackenzie's new vase for her mom. My mom would like this one. She could put flowers in it. And Grace chooses a coffee cup. While we're here, I'm also tasked with finding the first day of school outfits for both the girls. School starts on Tuesday, but when it comes to clothes, they're much better shoppers than I am. It's like, it's like in the big kid aisle, I think. Uh, the big, big kid aisle. I don't know. Grace is just getting over being sick, and now Mackenzie drops a bombshell in the middle of the store. I don't feel good, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. And with that, we're out the register and back to the car, down the road, and the kids head into the house to Erin, where she can deal with whoever may or may not be sick. I hope they all feel better soon, 
because we have a special surprise planned later. But first, we have to take advantage of a little break in the weather mm -hmm. and deal with a small project that I've also been avoiding for a few days. As you may or may not know, we're going to have to buy hay again this year for the third year in a row. We're going to be buying about 300 tons of hay this year at a delivered price of about $170 per ton. I'll let you do the math because I've already done it every which way but sideways. And to be honest, I'm tired of thinking about it, but I have to. Our first load of purchased hay will be arriving here on Monday. And that means we're going to be paying for hay on Monday. To help pay for all that hay, we're going to be selling some equipment around the ranch. And the first to go is our horse trailer. We have stock trailers that we can use for horses in a pinch. So the best place to start making the money to fill in the hay gap is by eliminating any redundancies we have. I remember when I got this trailer in 2012, I was so proud of it. And that's probably why I've been putting off putting it up for sale. But I can't wait any longer. There's a lot of traffic on the highway. So along with posting it for sale online, we're also going to park it next to the road, slap a for sale sign on it, and hope for the best. Then it's down to the cows to do a quick check on them, where it actually becomes obvious that we have a little problem. A small group of cows are trespassing. They're not supposed to be in this recently hayed pasture, and they need to be redirected to the next pasture that they're supposed to be in. Luckily, with hay still going on, although not at the moment, I have both of our four-wheelers scattered around the ranch, and one happens to be right here in this hay field. Now they know they're in trouble, and they head straight back towards the pasture that they're supposed to be in. Gates are opened, and cows are ushered back home. And gates are closed. With that, it's time for our surprise. On goes a nice shirt and a good hat, and it's out the door. Back into the car and back to town. This time to our local events center called the Camplex. The Camplex is pretty much the only place anything of size happens in our town of about 30,000 people. The fair is here, concerts are held here, and tonight it's a show I have never seen, The Dancing Horses. Officially, it's called Royal Horses. This show promises to spotlight some of the greatest horses in the world. Lippenzahner Stallions, the Spanish Andaliasen, and Arabians. Favored for centuries by royalty, the riders and this performance celebrate the tradition athleticism, and grace of these revered creatures. At least that's what the brochure says. We really have no idea what to expect. But it doesn't take long until we're all amazed by what these horses can do. But I can't just tell you about it. I have to show you.
After a long day, the kids are now in bed and it's time to head out and finish up a few chores before heading that way myself. I still have to feed pigs one last time and I'll fill up the calves water. Both things, I guess, that could have been done a lot earlier in the day, but taking the time to hang out with the kids is something that'll carry me through for days to come. Sometimes it is the little things and reality, most of the time, it's just that, the little things. The reasons we work our tails off or try our hardest every single day to succeed. Why we sell off something that we worked hard for and that we were really proud of. Just to be prouder that we did what had to be done to ensure the future of the ranch for just one more year. Their future. We can help. Thanks go to the kids who still love hanging out with me, oddly enough. Even Mackenzie who hates shopping so bad that she fakes being sick to get out of it. And she knows that if she threatens to puke, I'll get her out of public as fast as I can to a safe place. Shopping has made me feel sick too, but I've never thought of saying so to get out of it. That's one smart kid. Thanks to you as well for hanging out with us today. Please subscribe as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Meet us here on YouTube three days a week with everything from every corner of the ranch. You never know what you're gonna get. Until I see you again, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.